Hello everyone and welcome to Space Engineers. Yeah, so how are you guys? You doing well? I'm doing well too. <laughs> so a few updates just came out recently and uh, decided to make this thing, this thing up there. It's actually known as a Vasari fighter. It's from the game Sins of the Solar Empire, which is a, a space game where you can you know, challenge other people, which is pretty good. Um, it gets boring after a certain period of time, but anyway, I did find this thing. It's called a Vasari fighter, and I did change the design quite a bit. It didn't look like this. In fact, I will post the original design right from the game, and then the design that I actually implemented into Space Engineers, and now we'll come back to this, because I wasn't really happy with the original design that I did in this game, Space Engineers, so I decided to remake it, and um, you know, I actually recorded, I did a bit of an episode, but decided to delete it, because, well, I didn't want to really show you guys something that's terrible, and what is this? This, is that green? That's not... It's hard to tell because everything is just green. It's, it is green. Okay, it must be like a light, light colored green. Okay. Yep. Alright. It took a bit of time actually going through every single one of these spotlights to change the color. In fact, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. Let me show you. So if you go into the seat. Okay. Oh, no, no. T. I forget. Uh, then you press, I think it's K. Yep. Scroll down while you're in the control panel, spotlight, and you can just change the color. So uh, that's what I've done here. Uh, yeah, so cool. You can even change the name. I don't think that's very necessary. I guess it is sort of important so that uh, maybe if you have different types of lights, there we go, like different colored lights, you'd want to know what color, like where each one is located. So you could say like a left hand side of aircraft, right, right hand side, uh, that's, that's sort of a good naming scheme, did I fix it? Yeah, it looks, looks like it's been fixed, okay. And uh, with the, the color of the, this is actually heavy armor, I'm using the heavy armor blocks. Uh, because this is indeed a strike class ship, so uh, obviously you kind of need heavy armor so that uh, in case someone shoots it, it's, uh, it's, no, it's okay. Wait, well, let's see. No, no real damage from the looks of it. Okay, it looks good. I didn't know we could actually handle that. Because I do know that these, these cannot handle the bullets. I've seen it. It dents after a bit of time. Yeah, it kind of, kind of looks like it's denting. Anyway, let's try out this thing. Let's, let's, uh, here we go. Color, that's how I did the color thing for the blocks. So if I go to click number one, uh, then one P, excuse me, you can change the color here. So I think I picked, I picked black or maybe it was green. I forget. And then just made the desaturation all the way to that. And then the value just changed that a little bit. Um, yeah, I did something like that. You can easily change it as you go along for decision. So yeah. That seems okay, and let's see what we've got. So if I place it, you see, it's got this really nice green effect into it. It's like been scratched into it, or etched into it. It looks really good. And so, yeah, that's what we've done there. Oh, you may be wondering why I've used the color green. To me, green resembles like an alien type of ship. Uh, that's the one thing that I associate green with. I, I never associate any other color. Green, yeah, obviously black as well, but I think that suits this kind of alien ship. Um, so yeah, and let me tell you, inside this seat, it looks completely different. So let me press V. Look at that. Look how much cooler it looks. Because of the green, you can see the green on the inside. Really well done to developers. They've This is really great. I like this. Everything you can see on the top there, on the very top hand side of the screen, you can see the, the blocks that have been placed. And it really just feels so realistic and different. Yeah, so this is cool. Uh, of course, we do have missiles on this thing, so there we go. It does look pretty cool. So uh, if I actually do this, we can test out our speed acceleration. 
which is it, it's fairly decent. I mean, it's all right. Strike class ship, right? The missiles are really good, but I'm happy with the way they are functioning. Uh, yeah, this this ship is way better than that ship down there that I made. I think it was like last Space Engineers episode. Uh, so yeah, this is this is just really great. The ability to change colors, um, and that's something that KSP should have. Kerbal Space Program. We should be able to change the colors, but you know you need mods for that. We shouldn't have to use a mod just to change a color. That should not. That should be you know should be able to change the color of everything, at least most things. That'd be good, right? Orange fuel tanks change it to. Oh, what was that? The color changed. What? Uh, do we have a power outage? Okay, possibly. I'm a bit confused, but uh, someone in the comments can please tell me what the hell is going on. <laughs> okay, well I'm lost. Oh, there we go. There's the ship, there's that ship, and where's everything else? There, everything else. Yeah, not everything like renders in. Or render settings are, I think, long distance. Yeah, it should be. So there we go. A fairly nice design. I guess if I think I can actually share these designs with you one day. So maybe once I build up a lot of designs and such, um, I'll share it with you guys so you can try it out. So yeah, in the future, you guys can wait. You guys can wait. I've pretty much shown you how to make something like this anyway. And uh, the original design that I I did create in this game, Space Engineers. Uh, let's wait for a second. We do slide a bit, which is kind of an issue. It does take a while to slow down. So if we T, it is, it, it's slowed down. Uh, the engines, we don't have too many engines today. They are hidden. We have two of these small engines um, pointing that way. So there's one here and then there's one like right behind it. And then the same thing on the opposite side. And then we have these large thrusters just to propel you forward. Um, up and down thrusters, we have small ones hidden inside here, I believe. Uh, and the original design had a couple flaws that I did in this game. Firstly, if you did see in the picture, I'll probably post it on the screen again. Uh, what happened was the, the missiles that were placed on the top and on the bottom of this ship. Now, for a strike class ship, that's terrible. Because, well, let's just say you get shot at or you crash into something the missiles would be the first thing that gets damaged. You don't want that. These missiles need to last a long time. So that's why we've hidden these missiles inside this protective area. So in case we do collide, we have these, these, uh, these parts here to protect us. Wait, did I just dent that? Oh no, it just looks like that. Oh, okay, interesting. I didn't know it did that. Cool, that's that Is that new? Who knows? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed making this thing. It looks amazing. So, yeah. There we go. A lot to do. I mean, imagine remaking that thing with, like, red spotlights. Oh, that thing will look awesome. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Take care.